Uh, Smart Seeds is an innovation challenge for young professionals, uh, run over 10 weeks. At the launch workshop, we um, have the participants from the various organisations and sectors, and we've come up with five challenges for the five teams, uh, and then we um, uh, group them uh, according to their preferences, but also to make sure we've got the right mix of, of different organisations and different perspectives in each team, which is an important part of Smart Seeds. As we all appreciate, we're so, sometimes we're just so into our jobs, we can be quite narrow-minded because we do a certain job, we repeat it and then repeat it and do it again and again and again. We can you know, apply these theories that we've learned in these workshops to other aspects of our organisations. Today we've got the Pitching and Influencing Change workshop. At the showcase event, all of the groups get up and pitch their fantastic idea to an audience of industry professionals. They have eight minutes in which to do it. This particular workshop is to help them develop their pitch. I think from today specifically, it's about learning how to sell your idea or learning how to convey it to others in the most attractive way. The mix of skills is really, is really helpful. We come at problems differently to come at a solution that each of us might not have got to by ourselves. The benefit of Smart Seeds is it informs you of a new way of thinking. So the various problems that we would face at work or I would face I'm, I feel freer in terms of challenging those and coming up with an idea or something to solve them. Today's event, it, um, it's a celebration of what the, um, the Smart Seeds participants have achieved over the last 10 weeks. Um, because in quite a short space of time, these young professionals have uh, they've come together, they've formed teams, they've um, built relationships, developed competencies to tackle these really significant challenges specific to the City of London. Today I was a judge on the panel, so I was in a very lucky position in that I was able to listen to all the pictures that the teams put forward. I found it really exciting, it's always lovely to hear from people who've got you know, new ideas about stuff, so it was my job to listen to that and you know, make judgments and recommendations and then we finally pick the winner at the end. Of course when you stand on the stage you are very nervous, but you do have to believe in your own concept, so kind of going through that idea stage and going all the way to the end of actually producing a concept that will help people, that's something that I've really benefited from and like learned from. So we started 10 weeks ago without knowing each other. <laughs> no. Yeah, we didn't know each other or anything like that. We got, given, we got presented the challenges and we got to pick our challenges. Um, and we've gone through an interview process where smart teams have helped. They've had regular workshops and things like that to develop the idea, push it forward. And that's a valuable thing that I think I'll take away from this. These challenges were of a nature that made them quite broad. So it's quite powerful to, to pick up on that. Uh, overall challenge. From the individual's perspective, it's a great opportunity to actually deal with a problem from, uh, you know, with people from other businesses. And one of the problems that we can sometimes face is we get constrained into thinking within the environment that we're working. And the reality is to be strategic thinkers in the long term, you have to uh, canvas ideas from lots of different places. More and more now people are looking at innovation, people are looking at young people and, and older people who've got different ideas about how you can solve challenges. I would definitely suggest to all of the people who've presented here today, don't lose that passion or enthusiasm, take it forward, find out how you can get it into reality and do something and make the change. <laughs>